There we go. Hi guys, it is time to say goodbye to Miss Abby. I am boxing her up and going to send her to Tammy. Um, so I was going to do a boxing video, a boxing up video of her and then what I am going to be sending with her. Um, first off, here is Miss Abby. She has got this onesie on it that says love me and it's got a little bird and a little giraffe. There is a whole reason why there is this giraffe. There is a huge inside joke between me and Tammy and giraffes. I'm not going to get into the joke because it might be deemed inappropriate for some. And I'm also sending a magnetic passy. And I know she's had her passy in a couple videos. Um, I actually made the same one for Luna. So Tammy thought that I was using Luna's pacifier for Abby. And I am going to dress her in this terry cloth little gap jacket. Um, I could not find any pants for the life of me that match this. And that is okay because of how she will be getting sent home. Um, I was also looking for little socks, but I could not find the socks that I have. I only have one pair of each, and the only store I went to today that had socks, they did not have any small enough. Um, this hat I'm putting on her, this is a Cynthia hat that she has on right here. Came from Cece. The little pink jacket and the onesie um, I got for her. And let's see. Um, she will also be going home with this blanket and this swaddle me. Just sit her here for now. And I will go through her bag. Let's make sure you guys got that in the shot. Okay. So, this is a little bag you might recognize from a haul I did. Um, I have two bottles. The one that I had showed in a little haul video that I purchased for Tammy, um, I've left this bottle because she has a neonate whose mouth is cut open. And then I also have this other little bottle that I have made it into a magnet bottle for Abby. Um, I just put her ID here so we don't lose it, so it doesn't get lost and it's found right away. This pin Tammy can use to pin the ID to um, like her clothes on a tag. That is what I've done in the past. That way I can put a cute little outfit on her and then just pin this in the outfit and just move the tag where it goes instead of having to worry about the bracelet. And then also Tammy can use this um, safety pin when doing the um, emergency stop turn on um, trick that I showed in a previous video. In the front pocket, I have two diapers. Um, one has Looney Tunes on it. Okay, there's four diapers. Um, two have Looney Tunes on them, and then two have this cute little leopard print. Um, the Looney Tunes ones, I'm not sure what the brand are. I got them at the dollar store, and then the leopard print ones are some that I got from Honest. And on the top, um, these are some glasses that Tammy is purchasing um, for her babies from Crystal. And then um, this is some stuff. Um, this is the onesie that Abby came in. So I've put that on the top. And kind of group together all Cynthia type stuff so that she'll know that this is all Cynthia stuff. Um, this onesie Tammy actually made um, for everybody when we had the first meetup in Minneapolis and it's got the Baby Think It Over logo on the front and it's got our old website address on the bum. Um, I don't believe, I don't think we have that website anymore but I thought it'd be cute give that to Tammy because I forgot that Tammy made these crystals said she did. Crystals like I think I still have mine. Um 
And then in the lot from Crystal, um, Crystal had purchased this bib for Cynthia while she was in Paris um, as a gift. So she decided to give that to Tammy. She's like, it came in her lot of stuff. And she's like, you know, I, I have one myself. I don't need another one. And she goes, but you know what? Let's give it to Tammy. Because Tammy has just got like this huge heart. Um, Tammy or Crystal is getting some stuff from Tammy's. We're kind of doing a mix and match with the lots. Uh, because... There's something in my lot that went with stuff in Crystal's lot. There's stuff in Crystal's lot that goes and stuff with a friend of our Yvonne's lot. And there was one thing in Tammy's lot that Crystal wanted. So Tammy's sending that to Crystal. And Tammy's such, got such a big heart. Um, you've seen in my package opening, she was um, for the I, this ID and doing all the stuff for... Um, Abby, Tammy was going to um, send me that um, one John Lennon outfit and um, the neonate hat, if it was a neonate hat, but we didn't think it was. Turns out it was great. So all she was going to do was send me those two things from her lots. And like you saw the huge package she sent. So Tammy just has this big heart and... I have a feeling Crystal's going to be getting more than just the one sweater. And then this um, outfit, this was from Crystal Stuff. It's a yellow um, diaper cover, and it has sweet with some little roses on the bum. And um, the matching yellow hat. Turns out Tammy and her lot got the shirt that goes with this and Tammy really liked the shirt and she thought it was just a dress but now that we found the bottoms and the matching hat she was happy about that okay so this is the stuff from Cynthia or that was Cynthia's now the rest of the stuff in the bag is stuff that I have put in the bag um I'm including this Carter's dress or child of mine Carter's it is zero to three month dress it's super cute. Um, it's gray with these big flowers all over, and it's got a little, I think that's supposed to be a bow, but it's kind of crunched up. Yes, it's a bow that's kind of smushed in the front. Um, so there's that. And then there is this um, yellow baby bagosh, um three month dress and I mean I really like yellow but Tammy has two baby girls and she doesn't have many clothes for them so I'm like you know what there's stuff I can part with and so this is stuff of mine that I that I figured Tammy would like um this is Carter's newborn and it says daddy's little princess and it's a long sleeve onesie Then there's this um, Zebby Baby. It's zero to three months long sleeve onesie, and it's got the little geese on it. And then there is this um, Baby Gap, zero to three or up to three months. It is a long sleeve turtleneck with um, a jean um, overall skirt. And then there is this zero up to three months gap um, diaper cover. It had something to go with it at some point. And I figured it could go with this for now. It just doesn't perfectly match. But um, it's probably one of those things I sold something to Once Upon a Child and they took part of it but not all of it. That is one thing that really drove me nuts about that place. And then this is Carter's three to six months um, little dress with a onesie. It's got flowers on it as well. Um, this is just a little black onesie, one of the ones I dyed. Um, this is a 
three to six month gap swimsuit. Now in one of Tammy's lots, she received a swimsuit. So I gave her a second swimsuit. So both of her girls will have one. Um, this is a Real Care Baby hoodie. It does have some writing in it. Um, it came with Luna and I don't need it. And since she doesn't have her original outfit, I figured I'd pass that on to Tammy. Um, then there's this Cutie Patootie onesie. And honestly, I think that she gave me one similar to this. This one is preemie, I think. And the one she gave me was zero to three months. Um, I had to laugh when I opened that up because I had that one in her pile as well. And then this is um, Small Wonders preemie, but it is very big for a preemie. Um, little um, jacket. So... I don't have much pants for my girls, and I notice that as I'm like going through stuff for Tammy. I just, I don't have many pants for my girls, so the only thing it looks like Tammy will really need to get is some pants. And then I included this pacifier, um, it's got, it's purple with some flowers. And then, like, um... Abby has this Minnie Mouse pacifier. I got the same one in opposite colors. So that one is like a pink with a hot pink handle. And this is hot pink with that lighter pink handle. Um, and the minis are in different ones. This one's for Isabel, the um, neonate that she got from Cynthia. And then the directions how to start and stop. Um, I also included my Christmas card because, yeah, it was really strange. Um, when I pack this up, I'll tell that quick story. Why I'm sending my Christmas cards in May or March. Um, I ordered my Christmas cards back in December, like normal people. And it tracked, um, I, I ordered them from Shutterfly. And Shutterfly likes to use SmartPost, which I personally hate because of instances like this. So, um, oh, and this is the cover for Abby's pacifier. I don't know if she wants it or not, so I was going to include it. Um, but when it was transferred from FedEx to um, USPS, it went missing. My package of Christmas cards went missing. So after about a week... Um, of nothing tracking or anything like that, Shutterfly resent the Christmas cards. Now, once again, so I ordered the beginning of January. Their shipping takes roughly around a week, so it's two weeks in from my order. They send the second package. So we're talking, I ordered probably around the 7th. No, I ordered around the 1st. So we're talking like the 14th, 15th at this point. And like, you know what, we are going to express ship you. Or we're going to upgrade the shipping um, and send you, uh, resend the cards. Okay, that's fine. So, they resent the cards and I don't know for whatever reason, they stopped updating. So at this point, we're at almost the beginning of the year. And they're like, well, we can either resend the cards or we can um, or we can just refund your money. And at that point, I'm like, you know what? Christmas is already over. People are probably just figuring they're not getting a Christmas card from us this year. Just refund my money. And then about a week ago, both packages randomly show up in my mailbox. So I'm like, okay, well, I've got Christmas cards to send out now, I guess. So people are getting their Christmas cards late, three months late, thanks to the post office. And I hope they enjoy them, <laughs> even though they're late. So... I'm sending the, I'm, I've included Tammy's in um, her bag. And the one thing Tammy does not, 
Tammy knows something's up, that I've been waiting for something. And she thought that I was just waiting for, um, she thought I was just waiting for Cynthia's stuff because I was going to include some of Cynthia's stuff for her, which I have. Um, but the real reason, and this bag is like bursting at the seams. Sorry about that, guys. The battery died. What I was saying, um, Tammy, you're going to have to look at more storage in this bag. Because I know you have some stuff for your girls at your house. And it's not all going to fit in this bag. But Tammy knows something's up. She doesn't really know what it is. And this is what it is. She is going to be getting this car seat, too. Um, I just had to wait because I know this is going to cost... She had paid me some shipping um, prior, or when she paid me for Abby. But I had to wait until my husband got paid because this box, obviously, is going to cost more to ship than what she paid me. Um, I'm going to take these off throw them in the bag. Okay, with real babies, you should never use strap covers. Um, the neonates and baby think it overs. I honestly don't care. So, And they came with this car seat, so I am just leaving them on the car seat. So, if Tammy wants to use them, she can. If not, she can do with them as she pleases. I just find them a big pain in the butt when trying to tighten the car seats on little babies. First of all, because they don't get the car seat straps tight enough and they're a pain in the butt. Um, but I am going to get Abby in here. This is another thing I wouldn't recommend doing with a real baby is putting them in a swaddler in the car seat, but I don't want her damaged. Hi, Taffy. Um, I don't want Abby damaged in shipping, so, and since she doesn't have pants or socks on, I figured this is probably the best way I could do it is, um, get it so that she, I could swaddle her, and then, I don't know, they're going to see the back of the car seat for a few seconds. Um, but I figured I could swaddle Abby in the car seat that way. Kind of protect her vinyl a little better. And then I'm going to take, because I'm also going to be including this, um, I think it's Carter's. Yep, Carter's, um, leopard print blanket on one side and polka dots on the other. So her head will be wrapped in that. But, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to... Ah. This one's I did not want to tighten. Yeah, the ones... And this is not... What is going on with this harness? Huh. Yeah, the one side is really loose and the other side is really tight. That is, and it's not twisted. I don't know what is going on with this car seat. Oh. So let's get her tucked in. Where is the spot to do this? Um, babies are usually easier to swaddle on these things than a stiff vinyl doll as well as, like, this is why I would not recommend doing this with a real baby in a car seat because this is really hard doing it and yes, she is 
a stiff doll and a baby you can mold more but yeah not something I'd recommend hopefully it'll keep her safe on her journey home and we are going to cover her face Tuck the blanket in a little bit. And I've got some padding to put in there, and my cat needs to get off of this bag. Um, I'm going to be putting the car seat in a plastic bag, or at least at the bottom, to go in the box. Um, just as a little bit of extra protection because I don't know if it's going to be raining there, if it's going to be cold there, or what the weather is going to be like there. But I figure if I just at least have the bottom half of it covered that way while it's in the box. And where is this bag even? Okay. Um, while it is in the box. It's at least got some sort of protection in it. And uh, I'm probably gonna put this on top. And I, I've got a little bit of bubble wrap, but I think Abby herself is very well protected and she'll be in the car seat. It's just right now I'm worried about the box getting wet. And I'm not so much worried about the top of the box getting wet as I am the bottom of the box where this would all be. So. This on. They do not want to cooperate. There we go. And it will completely enclose that. Um, I think maybe just for a little bit of added protection, put the bubble air pocket thing around her head. Give her head a little air cushion. And then I'll fold up the bubble wrap and put it, lay it in there too. Just trying to keep her safe. And I know this is a kind of unconventional boxing video or shipping video, or boxing to ship out video. But most of those videos that I've seen, the shipper is actually just boxing up the baby where I've got a car seat and a huge diaper bag to box up with. There we go. And then that way we have, um, there we go. And I'm not exactly sure which way I'm going to ship or which company I'm going to ship with. I've kind of got to do some investigating on which will be the cheapest um i'm thinking it's going to be fedex not fedex ups i guess lately shipping wise um post office has been like super expensive i should probably let some of this air up before i tie it like that um the post office with a bit it's almost I've got to kind of see how the weight and everything is with it because um, I can't even get it on there. I shipped those, all those softy cabbage patch kits and well there was 15 of them and some people might have noticed, some people not. Um, I do not have my two softy cabbage patches anymore. They ultimately ended up getting shipped out to my friend that I bought them all for initially. Um, apparently my daughter is afraid of them. Go figure. I was a little upset, but 
she, anytime she'd come in our bedroom and see it, she'd start crying. And so everybody's like, oh, just put it in another room. She won't even know. Well, yeah. They don't know my daughter. Okay, I give up. They don't know my daughter. I put them in the closet. I tried that, and she knew they were around somewhere. Um, so she would, like, walk around really strange for a couple of days. And I hadn't shipped out the babies yet. Um, my friend... Um, she wanted me to ship them on a certain day so she could be home to get her... She, it wasn't a day that she had to work extra hours at work. So we we're trying to kind of estimate the delivery day. Or at least so somebody would be relatively home quickly when they got there. So before I shipped them out, I ended up having to sell her those two as well. Because she, she was just too afraid. And I'm just like, you know what, I'm not dealing with this. But... Um, when I shipped hers, it was $50 through the post office, and it was like $75 through FedEx. Or FedEx wouldn't even give me a price quote, and UPS was like $75. But I'm hoping that, I want to say that the car seat itself is only 10 pounds. Jack, stop. Um, this is one of the lighter car seats available. Um, Abby probably weighs around 10 pounds. So I'm hoping that this doesn't weigh as much as those dolls did because this is the same size box they were in and that cost $50 through the post office. And I think my husband will kill me if I ship something for $50 or ship it for $50. Although she did pay, I'm trying to remember how much she paid me. I can't remember how much she already paid in shipping, so technically she's already paid for her, at least the shipping part of Abby. So the other stuff is what I'm covering the shipping on. So he can't get too mad because she's paid for part of the shipping. Right, Taffy? So that is the end of this video, and I hope um, everybody has a good day. If you haven't already subscribed, you hit that subscribe button. Um, and like this video, leave a comment, and I will see everyone later. Bye!